Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to talk about Lesson 705, Exponential Decay. So, last lesson in Lesson 704, we talked about exponential growth. Exponential decay is very similar, except for we're doing something a little different. In this lesson, students will be able to identify equations that represent exponential decay, determine decay rate using exponential decay equations, Predict future values given the exponential decay equation. So the equation for the exponential decay is y is equal to a times the quantity of 1 minus r to the x to, um, to the x power. So remember, a is your initial amount. r is your now is your decay rate. So, Texas National Championship. Didn't even know that that existed, that there was a U.S. National Champ Texting Championship. That may have been a long time ago. Not exactly sure. But in this example, Stephanie complete, competed in the National Texting Competition. Including her, there were a total of 65,536 participants. During each round of the tournament, half Oops. Half of the participants were eliminated. So write a function of exponential decay that represents y, the number of participants remaining after x number of rounds. So what do we know? We know that a is 65,536 because that's our initial amount. Now the rate might be a little bit challenging to get, but it says half of the um, participants were eliminated. That half, so one half is equal to 50%. As a decimal, it's point, 0 0.50. So my rate was 0 0.50. And then our x equation. So y is equal to 65,536 times 1 minus now, because we're decaying, you're losing half the participants minus 0 0.50 to the x power. We can simplify that as y equals 65,536 times 0 0.50 to the x power. So then it's asking, at the end of round three, how many people were left in the competition? So that three is, round three is our time interval. So we're going to do y is equal to 65,000 536 times 0 0.50 to the third power. Putting that in my calculator, I have y is equal to 8,192 people left. Then, as Stephanie made it to the final round, what number round will this be? Again, this is a guess and check um, because we have not discussed, you won't learn logarithms and how to solve this using logs until math two or three but um we so we're gonna guess and check so let's guess after three rounds there were eight thousand people left so i'm gonna try six rounds let's see what happens with six rounds nope i'm too low on my guess because my guess um <clears throat> with after six rounds there's still a thousand people left so i'm gonna try putting a let's try Nine. Let's see what happens after nine people. Or after nine rounds. After nine rounds, there's still 128 people left. So let me go up to 11 rounds. Let's see how many people there are in 11 rounds. Oh, there's still 32 people left. So let me try 13 rounds. After 13 rounds, there's eight people left. So I have to go up a little bit more. I'm going to try 15. 15's got to do it. Let's see what happens with 15. Yay! After 15 rounds, there are two people left. So, it will take round, it would be round number... So, if you look at it, it like what I just did, it was totally guess and check. Guessing the numbers until I get to the what they're asking me for. So, you try.
Oh no, the dinosaurs are dying at an exponential rate. There are currently 80 dinosaurs remaining, and each month, 25% of the dinosaurs says, adios. So, write a function of exponential decay that represents this sad, sad situation. After how many months will there only be about 14 dinosaurs still alive? About how many months will pass before this book is written? All my friends are dead. So the function, our A was 80, because that's how many dinosaurs are currently remaining. My R is 25%, but I must, 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 must change it to a decimal, 0 0.25. And then, so my equation would be Y, oh man, those are bad Ys. Y is equal to 80 times 1 minus 0 0.25 to the x power. Simplified, y equals 80 times 0 0.75 to the x power. Then, after how many months will there only be about 14 dinosaurs still alive? So, we need 14 is equal to 80 times 0 0.75 to the x power. So, now we need to just estimate. We can say, okay, let me try after five months. Let's see how much... How much Dinosaurs are left after five months. Well, after five months, there were, give me one second, let's, after five months, there's still 19 dinosaurs. So let me go down one, or go up one. Let's say after six months. So 14 is equal to 80 times 0 0.75 to the fifth. I'm not going to put 14. I'm just going to write Y. And yep, after six months, there are about 14 dinosaurs left. And then about how many months will pass before this book is written? All my friends are dead. That means that there's only one dinosaur left. So how many months until one dinosaur left? So we're going to have Y is equal to 80 times 0 0.75 to the six, oops, not to the six. Let's say to the eighth. And let's see how many dinosaurs are left after eight. There are still eight dinosaurs left after eight months. So let's try y is equal to 80 times 0 0.75 to the, let's see. Um, let's try 10th power. To the 10th power, there's still five dinosaurs left. So let's try... I'm going to try to the, third, uh, the 12th power. So the 12th power is next. There's still three dinosaurs left after 12 months. So let's try 13. Y equals 80 times 0 0.75 to the 13th power. Let's see. What, even after 13 months, there's still two dinosaurs left. So let's try 14 months. And after about 14 months, 14 months till... One dino left. So, oh no, the dinosaurs are dying at an exponential rate. There are currently 80 dinosaurs remaining, and each month, 25% say, adios, bonjour. Um, so, number of months remaining, and so I want you to try and fill in, this is going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So now, after one month, when one month, that's going to be 80. Let me change colors. So 80, because that's our initial amount. Then after two months, so here are the solutions to this problem. 